Hey guys, it's Mei Mei. And last year for our work Christmas party, we played this game that is super cool that I'm gonna put a clip in here for you guys to see that is played with this saran wrap that you make into like a, like a mystery ball kind of thing. And it's super fun. And you guys asked me to show you how I did it. And I should have done it before now, but I haven't needed one. And they're not really, they're not real cheap to make. So I didn't buy the stuff just to make it. But I thought I'm gonna be making one for our Christmas party again this year. And I would thought I would just bring you along. So the first thing you're gonna need is plastic wrap. This is what um, holds the whole thing together. And I just bought a 200 square foot roll. And I just bought the inexpensive one from Dollar General. And this is what I'm gonna use to wrap everything up. I don't know that too, I'm always like, is 200 square feet enough? but I'm like surely it is if it's not I'll let you know at the end of the video okay for this deal what you need is a bunch of little little gifts or candies or prizes or whatever that fall out as it gets pulled apart but the middle I like to make kind of special and last year I did it with an Altoid tin and I put cash on it where's my cash here it is <laughs> I got $30 in cash, okay, and I used this little guy last year, but this year I'm gonna do something different because when I was at Dollar General, I found this little guy, which is so cute. Let me get rid of the little silica pack, but it's so cute, and I thought this would be cute to put the, um, the prize in the middle in. So that prize in the middle is gonna have $10, and I might even stick some little something in the middle with it, let's see. I don't know what, some candy or something. We'll do that in a second. But this will be what I start my wrapping with, okay? And the bigger the centerpiece is, the bigger the ball is gonna be, if that makes sense, because I'm already starting pretty big, right? These bills, I went ahead and got a five, I got two fives and I got 10 ones. These bills will just be sprinkled throughout. Now what you put in yours is up to the audience that will be opening it. That's what's gonna matter. Let me show you all the things. So I got some gum. And by the way, I get a lot of stuff and I may not use it all for this, but I make sure whatever I buy are things I can use in stockings or other gifts. Like if I just want to put a little pack of candy in something or something, I just make sure it's not stuff that I'll waste. Um, so I found these little emoji bracelets. I found these Cooper, these Cooper suit, these super cute little Christmas erasers. Um, I get, I always get a couple of things, a chapstick. That's the candy cane one. This little guy was cute. It was only a dollar and it's a four way buffer a little mini nail file that that um splays open if that's the word see it kind of opens like that i thought that was cute i found this little guy i don't know if it's going to fit but again this is a good stocking stuffer so it won't go to waste i'm going to try to put pez dispensers in i'm really trying to make this a little different than last year i'm going to try to put pez dispensers in we'll see if that works last year i was able because i was thinking about the guys i was able to put in some slim gems so these are the little small packs of slim gems um, I found, let me see, did I get, I got one pack of Altoids just because I did it last year. I thought that would be cute. And I have a bunch of stuff, but let me see how I want to show you. This little thing of lip balm, which I thought was so cute, this little, it's called Broadway and it's a cherry lip balm. I thought it was a different little container that would fit well. Then for the candy, let me move this stuff, stuff aside and show you the candy. For candy, you want to make sure you get individually wrapped candies, okay? So what I did was just found a whole bunch that I know my crew will like, okay? I tried to stay away from chocolate. I'm bringing these in like this because they make so much noise plastic-wise. Peppermints. Chico sticks, these are really good because they're different and people don't ever buy them for themselves, but most people like them. And if you've never tried them, you should, they're so good. Okay, I got these little um, Christmas sixlets because they are chocolate, but they're candy coated and they will last in there really well. And then lastly, these guys holiday dum-dums how cute are these they're in the flavors merry cherry sugar plum hot chocolate sugar cocoa gingerbread apple cider green apple grinch and polar punch now i don't know how much this i'm going to be able to get into the ball remember so i made sure whatever i bought here i could use somewhere else and i still need to put candy and stockings so i can use this for that too so i'm not too concerned about having too much although you might be thinking whoa that's so much and it probably is too much but again I kind of am killing two birds with one stone because I'm doing stockings and the little ball. All right, what you want to do now is open your candies and put them into a bowl and put them off to the side. So here's my big bowl of candy. This is a big old tub from Dollar General and I just put it all in here. And I know I spent a lot of time on the preparation, but for this project, I feel like preparation matters. Get your candy ready. Get all of your little prizes and things all opened and sat to the side. I've got all my little Slim Jims opened and sat to the side. Everything's over here to the side, okay? And then we can get started. All right, let's open this up. Now I will tell you, I 
I really don't prefer to do this on my crafting work surface. This is better to do like on your kitchen table where you have some room. But I wanted to film this for you guys and it's really just better for me to film here. I'm gonna be real careful and not cut myself since this didn't tear off like it was supposed to. Let's try it again. See if it's just me. It is, it's usually user error, right? Okay, so now we got this guy. So I'm going to get this started. Now if you had some fancy uh, saran wrap or uh, plastic wrap device, that would probably work even better. I don't have anything fancy and you really don't need it. I'm gonna lay this out and get it started. And you don't even have to put this back in here and fight with this box the whole time because you're gonna use a lot of this. So don't stress about that. Just leave it off of the little deal and put it to the side. Now you wanna start with your middle piece, okay? And remember I said this was kind of my centerpiece and I think now that I've got it, I'll add something to it. Let's add a bracelet, that would be cute in there. And let's add a pack of gum. See, I can pack this guy up, so whoever gets this will get a lot of goodies. And then let's add, um, what else do I wanna put this really cool cherry? Yeah, cause that would be cool for somebody to get. Let's put some candies in here. Let's see what all I can, I'm gonna squeeze in as much as I can, cause this is gonna be the grand prize. Will a Smarty fit? Yeah, still got a little more room. Will a Slim Jim? Nope. What, peppermint? Yep. Let's see if I can get one of these. Let's see. One of these guys in there. That's a big one. Cool. And I'm gonna put an eraser. How about a Rudolph head in there? And then that one, see that I put the money on the bottom of the box, which is even cooler, because then whoever gets it will see that. Um, now then, hey, I'm thinking about something. To get this to stay closed, I wonder if I could take this out of here and wrap it around it. See, and the money is hidden in there, so when they get it, they're like, oh, it's just a box of candy. Nope. It's a surprise. Oh, this is gonna work. Look, so now we have, we will keep it closed with the bracelet. So I don't even have to do anything to keep it closed. That's the middle, okay? So what we're gonna do is just wrap it up in the center of our ball. Something like this. Now here's what I discovered. I had never made one of these before last year. That was the first time I've ever made one. What I discovered was you don't wanna twist all of this as you're going, like you don't wanna take this and twist it and all that. I find that it works better if you just kind of um, wrap wrap several things up and then the next several things, I'll show you what I mean. So what we're gonna do is just start wrapping this to get it started to become a ball. So I'm just gonna wrap, wrap, I don't know who came up with this idea, but it is really fun. We had the most fun doing this. All right, so I've got this one all wrapped up. And now, of course, I just did what I said I wasn't gonna do, I just twisted it, so I'm not gonna twist it. I'm gonna wrap it a little bit more, and I'm gonna tear this one off, or you can cut it. I've got my scissors, so let's just cut with my scissors here to make things easier for camera. And then I'm just gonna wrap this all up. I found last year it was really important to kind of start and stop them like this. So I've got that one done and now I'm gonna start another one on top of it. And what happens is it just makes there be so many different um, places for people to grab and to, you know, to um, wrap onto. I thought it was funny. All right, let's see what we can put in. Now I'm gonna just start adding some things, maybe some candies. You can be real specific if you want. I'm just gonna do it like that. And then I'm just gonna try to wrap that around, just like so. I ripped it with my ring, not a big deal. Wrap that around, wrap that. Just keep on going. And I'm gonna tuck these periodically. Wrap and wrap and wrap. Now, even though you can see that right there, it's really kind of far down in there. You'd be surprised how far it is. Now I'm gonna cut it again because I like cutting them and making them be separate because what I find is it kind of helps with the whole process. Whenever the ball kind of falls away from you, it kind of gets away. All right, so there's that one. Now we can do another prize in here. So let's do a chapstick and let's do some more candy on top of here like so. You don't have to be real fancy with this, okay? You just want it to sit there then you just want to encapsulate it and wrap it up. Wrap, 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 tuck, tuck, wrap. 
the challenge is unwrapping it. Matter of fact, the rules of the game are like this. It's when it's time to start, they have to start unraveling it and you cannot tear it. That's one reason you wanna do this for them so they can find the edges and stuff like that. I mean, you don't want it to be impossible for anybody to do, but that's kind of how it works. Now I'm gonna start on this bottom side so I can get a ball kind of going. So let's put in more candies. I feel like this is gonna be a really big one. I'm trying to make it pretty big because we got a pretty big crew. This is for our work Christmas party. I think I told y'all that. We got a pretty big crew and I want there to be like a lot of prizes in here. So now we'll just start going the other direction. That's another thing. Change your direction every now and then. That will help too. All right. And you may have a different way of doing this. This is just how I did it last year and it worked really well. So I'm just trying to mimic what I did. Cause see, here's what'll happen. When the ball falls apart because they've ripped it like that, then they have to come in here and find the other piece. And after a little bit, when this has been compacted, you'll be surprised how hard it is to find those little edges. It's kind of funny to me. All right, let's do an, an Altoid tin on the side like that. So let's encapsulate it. Last year I put little post-it notes in, like the little um, shaped post-it note deals. It was funny. So there's that, and now I might can tear. Yep, that was easy enough. Got that one in. Let's do um, a manicure set over here now. Make it wide again. We'll be sure to film this for you guys to see it, and we'll upload it, because it's a lot of fun to watch. And we, like I said, we did one last year too, so I already have a little bit of that to show you guys. And then I'm gonna wrap, wrap, wrap. It smells so good, it smells like candies. Wrap and tuck, nice and snug. I did find that the snugger the better. Like wrap that around and make it stick, because you don't want them to just appear, but it is harder than you think. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Let's talk about the cash. What I like to do is I like to wrap it um, smaller smaller denominations outside to inside bigger denominations. So let's just put this $5 bill right here and I'm gonna go in the other direction this time. It's also cool if when you get done, you save one of the bills to put on the outside so they can see it because then they're like, oh, there's money in here. It's kind of cool. Now, when you play the game, I should tell you this, you're gonna need a set of dice. And what happens is each person, um, there's one person who starts the peeling process or trying to get into the um, container. And while that person's trying to get in, the next, the person next to them is rolling the dice. And they're rolling the dice because they're trying to get doubles. If they get doubles, then they get to take this away. Um, that'll make more sense when I show you the video, but when they, every time somebody rolls doubles, they get to grab this guy and start trying to get some goodies out of it. And I found last year when they did this, they would kind of sling it and the more candy that came out, the more disorienting it was because they wanted to see what they got. See, you just gotta pay attention to that stuff, right? But the more they got, they wanted to really see what came out and they didn't really pay as much attention uh, to trying to keep going, which was funny too. All right, what I'm gonna do is just keep going and I'll just stay in camera, but we'll put a little music on and let y'all watch and you'll see how big this guy gets. He's not really being much of a ball right now. And that's okay too. It doesn't have to be an actual ball. It's just fun no matter what it is.
guys, so this is it. This is my ball this year. I'm gonna stop. I got all my cash in. You can see a little bit in there. That's what you want. You wanna be able to see a little bit of the good stuff, you know, so they'll be like, oh, I wanna get to that. And it might look like it's like right under the surface, but it's probably three or four players before it's even available. But this is it. It is super fun. Now again, what happens is you give this to one person. You, I, What we do is we clear a table and we all stand around the table and one person gets this and then the next person gets a set of dice. This person tries to peel away layers without tearing. If they tear, they're disqualified. You have to say that, okay? So without tearing, they peel away layers while the other person's rolling the dice. Once the person next to them rolls doubles, they have to pass it no matter where they are. So even if they just got it started, they have to pass it and the next person gets to go. And you do that until the whole table has gone around and until somebody wins the big prize in the middle. And I like to just kind of use the heat of my hands and just really compress this guy together and make it really hard to find that first starting point. And you can see how hard that is, right? Because it's just a jumbled mess. Now, a lot of people last year were like, oh, this is so wasteful of plastic wrap. Just remember this. When you pull this off, just save it and put it in your recycle bin. Just don't, you know, just don't put this in your trash can if that if that is a concern of yours and I understand how that can be and is just make sure you put you recycle this somewhere wherever you can you know in your area all right guys that is it we'll put the video up to show you guys later how this works it's so fun I promise you this guy weighs a lot too I'm gonna take it out and show the team I think they'll be excited to play all right Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you make one of these and play with your family, be sure whenever you put it on social media that you tag me so I can see it. I would love to see you guys play in this game. So just tag May May Made It wherever you put your video up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Talk to you again real soon. And Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.